Maybe there are some aliens out there that send this gadget in our direction. The last time we talked, you put forward an hypothesis, right? So there's a lot of misinformation on the internet right now. A lot of folks are having a lot of fun with the fact that this is happening. The third known interstellar object coming to our atmosphere. Can you just lay out your theories for what this could be. We don't know, right. you're studying it in real time. Yeah, that's the fun of doing science. You don't need to pretend you know the answer in advance. You should, it's an opportunity to stay a wandering kid, a curious kid. And the adults in the room are often having some narrative that has nothing to do with the evidence we get. And they just want to pretend they know the answer in advance. But science is all about evidence, all about data. And it's not getting close to earth as of now, this object, unless it will maneuver or unless it will release some probes, mini probes that it sends towards the planets. But the, what I was putting on the table is the possibility that it's not natural, a natural object, because the chance of it being in the plane of the planets is a fraction of a percent. And the, the chance of it being so massive is less than a percent. And you put all these coincidences together and you end up with a very small probability that somehow we were lucky to get such a big gift along the plane of the planets from interstellar space. and. It raises the possibility maybe it was technologically designed, in which case they're far more advanced than we are.